Hey guys, welcome back to Z Sports. Thank you for stopping by for another video. And yes, what you are reading in the title could possibly become a true thing. Okay, Akash Mishra, one of our top brilliant fullbacks, okay, of India, who's playing for the Indian national team and who's heavily linked with a Japanese J2 league team, uh, Machinda Zalvia. Okay, the deal can be falling through. Okay, and it has nothing to do with Akash Mishra's uh, thing. It's, it's not actually Akash Mishra's fault here. The thing is, the ban that could fall on the Indian national team uh, by FIFA on AIFF, okay, could be affecting not just Akash Mishra, but multiple other players who are playing abroad who of Indian nationality. Now, before I go right into deep about this, guys, if you're new to the channel and you love such content where I cover mostly about Indian football, and also I do cover here and there about uh, foreign football, so you can stay tuned for that. So, if you love in football, first of all, do hit the subscribe button and yeah, you'll get some good amazing content. Plus, if you are, uh, comment something, I do reply to the comments. And if they are interesting enough, I make a video of them. So, drop your comments and questions about this or any other topic. So, I'll go back to the top, uh, you know, the situation. So, Akash Mishra was heavily linked or is still maybe heavily linked with uh, Machinda Zalvia, a J2 League club which is very famously known for producing one of the top talents, okay? It's like the it has the best academy. You can say like Ajax, okay? Ajax's academy produces world-class uh, talent, okay? And then they go and they play for multiple other clubs in uh, Europe, right? Same way, uh, Machinda Zalvia's academy is considered to be one of the best, okay? The Players that uh, pass through this academy go to play in uh, the main league, in the J League, okay? And uh, many of them end up representing the Indian, uh, not Indian, Japanese national team. And they are considered as top talents, okay? Uh, so first of all, the sad thing here is that uh, we could be seeing Akash Mishra's deal falling out, okay? Now see, the reason here is quite simple in paper, if you want to say. The thing is that... Uh, now it actually does it affect a club's transfer or not of the particular nationality player from playing abroad is not known when you a country gets a FIFA ban okay so India is very close to getting a FIFA ban uh, with, uh, with current situations the way things are going on and um, now I cannot tell you directly like how much impact it can happen because when a country gets a FIFA ban uh, mostly those countries like Pakistan, uh, Myanmar, Kenya those players or those people who are there who play uh, in that they will mostly don't play abroad okay and those who play abroad mostly have dual citizenship so it doesn't matter but here we are talking about Akash Mishra who has just one citizenship and that's India okay so does his transfer to a other club get impacted because or directly okay not di uh, indirectly directly because of uh you know a uh, ban fifa ban is not known but uh machinda zelvia may be reluctant to uh do a transfer for such a player who's coming from a country that is banned from football okay uh, at least still uh so things get proper so first of all when uh it gets banned okay uh, first of all they know akash mish once you sign a indian player you are getting a huge traction okay because we have a huge population we have a lot of people who uh, support football even though it's like very small comparatively percentage wise but it's our population is big so that uh, helps everything else right so uh, they know that uh, the returns will be there even though they have to pay a transfer fee and the thing here is that uh, they are not sure what will happen uh, to Indian football uh, once uh, the FIFA ban happens because see, India won't be able to play any international football so the Indian national team players might become sloppy the you know uh, main players, the players like Florentin Pogba, Mutada Fall, who still have like quite a lot to give to football. They will of course leave uh, ISL because these clubs now won't be eligible to play for AFC Cup, AFC Champions League. And Machinda Zalvia may consider not to get Akash Mishra because uh, once, you know, first of all, once you come from a country that has a bad reputation, means has got a FIFA ban, the reputation does impact, okay? Not that it's Akash Mishra's fault here. It's a fault, it's things that he cannot control, right? He cannot control the ban or not a ban to happen. So 
it all comes down to this okay maybe even in other leagues like there are many players uh, many indians playing in foreign leagues but they mostly have dual citizenship here so akash mishra is like the only one who's like you know doesn't have a dual citizenship so uh it becomes kind of confusing to see uh, what will eventually happen of uh, Akash Mishra's transfer because it was said to happen quite a long time ago, right? The deal was almost done and like the signing and all should be happening in 2-3 days or so. He does follow some of the uh, Machinda Zelvia players also. But the thing here is that it could be that they are waiting to see about the ban, okay? And if India do get banned, it might happen that uh, Machinda Zelvia <clears throat> may not uh, sign him, okay? Because let's see, medicals don't take a long, okay? Medicals may take max to max two days. Uh, then uh, when you go and you for practice, okay? When you go to play uh, in those uh, countries just to show, like they say, no, uh, training or for them to see you, to analyze you, that also takes about a day or two. So four days max. But I think now almost... A week or two has passed since uh, the news came and the signing of his contract. So the only reason they are not signing it as of now is because they are waiting for this big deal that I mean the FIFA ban that could be possibly happening. And as an Indian football fan, I honestly don't want uh, the FIFA ban to come on Indian football because there's some simple logic here. First of all, once the ban comes, India won't be able to participate in international tournaments. We don't know when the ban can be removed because uh, looking at how slow AIFF are doing things, uh, I can just assume that nothing is going to happen at all, okay? So, first of all, it will cause huge wastage of talent, okay? People who are interested in playing football and to go abroad, they will directly, like, you know, give up on their hopes. Many of them will be giving up on their hopes. Uh, football eventually will have a downfall. Okay, in India, quite a lot. Even now, the main government, the central government has reduced the funding on football because the results are not coming in, right? So, we need to get results. And it looks like these things will eventually have a huge toll on the Indian talent. Maybe we were expecting to be crashing on the top 100 if a FIFA ban does come. I see that we may fall... I don't know, maybe to 130, 140 also. Uh, if you don't know, Pakistan also had the ban and they are currently in 200 something rank. I, they were in 180, 170. I can't recollect then they fell to 200. Afghanistan is another example. They don't have a football team anymore to uh, field to play. So even they have fallen down. So this is what I'm saying. It will eventually happen to the Indian national team and Indian football at large. Top quality players like Florentine Pogba especially. I always say Florentine Pogba, Hugo Bomas. These are like top signings, right? They want the AFC Champions League. They want to play continental football. They will just walk out. Okay, They don't even care about uh, loyalty at the moment for them. Uh, huge uh, and plus also the money that uh, the revenue that comes from foreign uh, you know from uh, foreign sources for the league okay external so, uh, income that will directly get uh, dried up almost because uh, like when Florentine Pogba joined uh, ATK Moon Bagan it was like a huge traction right it was huge uh, like noise in Europe and all because Florentine Pogba was quite a big deal to happen but uh, if um, this happens then we'll not be getting those big quality players and it might dry out okay eventually so let's see how things go on at least for the moment uh, the FIFA ban will be the deciding factor if Machinda Zalvia are interested to sign uh, Akash Mishra or not. So let's hope for the best guys. Let's see what happens. Thank you guys for watching this video. Do like, share, subscribe. If you'll uh, do share it with your friends and tell me your thoughts in the comments down below. Till then, take care and stay safe.